Hello everyone and welcome, welcome to another history video. So today we're going to be looking at a familiar deck, Kethas Chase deck, that has become relatively popular, I would say, with the latest Mythic Championship. And with the latest edition of the new set, March of the Machine, we got a pretty incredible card for this deck. And you might have guessed already that this card would be unbelievably insane in this Kethas deck as soon as you saw this card. So this is Rona, Herald of Invasion. It is a 2-mana 1-3. It's a legendary card, perfect for Kethas decks. Basically, this card can tap to loot a card, but every time you play a legendary card, you can untap it. So you can kind of see the power level of this card in Kethas deck already. Because every legendary card that you play, you can now look for things like Kethas or Moxember or even Jace under certain scenarios. And yep, while this is happening, trying to look for a card, you're also filling the graveyard at the same time. So it's like a win-win situation for this deck. So I've been kind of holding back because I've already done a bunch of Kethas decks already. So it has been on the back of my mind, but now that we've looked at quite a few decks now, I decided to get it out of my system. And also compared to my last version, we didn't play four copies of Grizzly Salvage, but after the championship, I decided to add four copies of Grizzly Salvage in. It is a pretty nice card that can put cards into the graveyard, along with being able to find Kethas to our hand. And again, compared to the old Kethas deck, thanks to Jace, the perfected mind from the last set, combo has become very streamlined, as in making it very easy to do and less complicated. There's not too many combo routes anymore, most of the combos start with Kethis into playing a bunch of Mox Embers, and then you follow it up with Jace to Turbo Mill yourself using the minus X. But if you don't have Mox Ember and you have Relic of Legends instead with Kethis, another thing you can do is you use the Relic of Legends to tap down the Kethis to cast the Emery, and then you keep on tapping the Emery with the Relic of Legends, generating one blue source so that you can keep playing Emery back to back to back, milling your entire deck. Once you do that until you find the Mox Ember, you play Mox Ember, mill yourself, and then play Jace Wielder of Mysteries and win the game by self-milling yourself. And you might be thinking like, why are we playing Jace Wielder of Mysteries? Why can't we just mill us and then proceed into milling your opponent with all the cards that we have available? But especially in best of one, there's quite a bit of graver hates, which can become a problem, especially if they get rid of a bunch of Mox Embers, since now that we lost Mox Embers, we can't proceed into milling our opponent. So this is where Jace Wielder Mystery comes in, where you can just mill yourself and then be done with it. So that is going to be our backup plan in winning the game. Jace Wilder Mysteries, we don't really care if we can actually combo with Kethis looping Mox Embers into winning the game. We can just use Jace to mill ourselves and then win the game when there is no card in the deck. Also, it's kind of like a quality of life. All you have to do is mill yourself and you don't have to think about anything else. Once you mill yourself, you play the Jace Wilder Mysteries and win the game by upticking. But if you don't have him, then you're going to spend additional 3 minutes to 5 minutes milling your opponent. So I would say it definitely saves time. I quite like it. So having said that, I'm going to be jumping into some best of 1 ranked games in Historic Q to show you guys how the deck does. And if you guys like the video so far, leave a like, comment below, subscribe, and let's hop on over. Okay, queue it up. Oh, no, 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 Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I am so annoyed. Uh, so, I accidentally queued my... <laughs> I accidentally queued my... Best of one deck into best of three, so right now I have no sideboard. Whoops. Oh, please don't be a control deck. I don't want to play against a control deck without a sideboard. Not like this. No. Okay, um... You can be a spirit stack, I guess. Still a bad matchup, I would say. <laughs> uh, Twin Blade Geist. Definitely did not expect that. Well, let us fill the graveyard with Ronus. 
In you go, Poseju. And we can do it again. Every legendary effectively putting two legendaries in the graveyard. Think about that. Other spirits you control get, get hexproof. Oh god. I'm about to die real fast. Okay, Mox Ember, what a start. Mox Ember is a start. I'll take a blue and a green. <laughs> okay, this Rona is kind of insane. Like, what is this card? Uh, this game is over, by the way. Unless I get incredibly unlucky. I mean, I could get incredibly unlucky. That is a thing that I can do. Yeah. What? Okay. Rona is kind of broken, isn't it? Like, hello? Okay, how's that fair, by the way? How is this any fair? What? It doesn't even go to the sideboard. It just goes to the loading screen immediately. I've actually never seen that happen. I always at least have like a single copy of sideboard. Like especially like a companion, right? You have a companion. You go to a cyborg, even if even if you don't have any. But I've actually never experienced this. So normally, right? Normally, here's where I would be saying like something like, "Oh, my opponent's playing a spirit deck. Let's play something like the fairy or mystical dispute." But you know, none of that. <laughs> we don't have any of that. Seems like a hand. Whenever this deals combat damage, draw a card. Yes, I, I will play Rona over Emery. Thank you very much. When this enters the battlefield, draw a card, then discard a card. Whenever a spirit or card with destroy, okay, okay. Okay, so opponent is like a full on spirits deck, huh? Because um normally a spirits deck actually has a lot of non-creature spells. So the fact that they're playing them. Maybe means they don't play counter spells. I'm gonna minus this thing. They could feel the ruin me, but don't really think I care too much. Although they can't actually activate this, by the way. Wait, excuse me? Okay. 
pretty annoying. Um, let's get rid of a land. So... I think... Right now, we need like a multicolored land. Like Spire of Industry. Because right now, we actually don't have a white source for Kephas. Lazav or Emery? Emery? A drum. I don't think we care about that too much. There it is. Get this. We got four mana. One more land lets me get get this out. No, they found the line. Okay, never mind. We need way more. We need way more lands. I could Grizzly salvage into Lasav as well. This thing is very annoying, by the way. Okay, looks like opponent has a trick up their sleeve. Hmm. Kinnon. Short. Maybe they'll counter? Oh, please counter. You don't want to counter? It's kind of tasty. Lazov, that's... That could get me a Kethus, you know? You don't want that, right? Definitely want to counter Lazov. Essence Scatter. Oh, just, just gave me a Kethus. Okay. Um. <laughs> My God, Rona is so broken. What an abomination of a card. What an absolute savage of a card. Become subdued. Essence scatter. Okay, opponent's fully going in.
Wait, no. <laughs> I was about to say, I can just block this card. If you attack with Faces Haven. You pass with mana up, huh? Plaza of Hero. Okay. Black. Oh, I, I do actually have to tap the plaza. Essence scatter. It's kind of annoying. So what what do we have right now? Takenuma. Well, well, well. Draw three. I will clear your mind. Ooh, that's a card. The problem right now is I can't... Actually, can I? Can I actually cast Kethis? Chromatic Star will give me... Yeah, I can't actually do it, right? Because I generate two white mana. I think I messed up down the line. Okay, we'll pass here. Because this generates two uh, white mana, and then we have a black and a green, which means I can't play Kethis and talk to them at the same time. Opponent being annoying as usual. Right, we're going to balance this thing to their hand. And if they play it... Wow, they didn't play it. That is called, uh... Opponent having a counter spell. How many counter spells do you think they play? Hmm. So we still have a Kethus left in the deck. So we have a Kethus left in the deck. We don't have any with Takenumas. 
We also don't have blood solves left. Another mox. Um. In case they have, in case opponent has like a buffer. So far, we got countered three times. So I'm taking six damage here. I'll just take it. So Kinnon lets you uh, pay seven mana. Look at the top five cards of your light of your deck, and then you may put a non-human creature card onto the battlefield. We currently have 15 cards remaining. We're looking at top five cards. I feel like that's kind of hard to miss. Okay, we're gonna decline that. Because we could tech potentially mill. A cannon, so... No, we drew the Kethys! We drew the Kethys! Oh, that's really bad, because now they can counter it. And we don't have any more Kethys. And we also don't have any Takanumas left. If this gets countered... We don't have Takanumas. Okay. I was about to say, you can't seriously have another counter spell, right? Smiley face. Get lesson learned. Always play best of three with your best of one deck. Ooh, we got a situation here. We got a Kethys. Chromatic Star, Grizzly Salvage, one, two, three, punch. Now, I will say it's not the most perfect hand, but considering that we're going first, we can be a bit slow, right? Although it's an elf deck, so I could potentially die. Oh, what? Okay, I made a mistake. So what happened there was... Because I thought opponent was going to attack with this shepherd. And... I just click next because... That's what I, I assumed they would, but... They just passed their turn entirely without even going to combat stage. Opponent actually just fooled me. How could they? How could they? Feels so bad. That is another Emery I could get rid of. We need a Mox. Oh, that's game over. That is game over.
That's blue. Maybe it's not. Huh. Maybe it isn't. I feel like I could die here, though, if I don't win. That is interesting. Another blue. We're working with, like, literally minimal stuff here. Which is kind of hard. Let's just get rid of these. I'm glad the rope hasn't started yet. Because, man, I am just right now pressed on time. Uh, uh, uh. Where's Kinnon? Guess we really don't really need it. I don't think we need Kinnon. I think we just self-mill and win. Wow, my mox is literally at the bottom. This is why I like the other Jace. Because of uh, events like these. My mox was at the bottom. Because I don't, I don't think I would, would be able to win here if it wasn't for the other Jace. Right? If it wasn't for this card, I don't think we would have been able to win. Because we had like only like two moxes for the longest time into a third mox and then the last mox was at the bottom of the deck. Honestly, so far, the deck has been overperforming. But I think that's because we've been going first a lot. And going first does increase the chance of winning by a ton. Let me tell you. Oh no. Oh no. Am I about to get hammer timed on turn two? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Ow. Good game. <laughs> Good game. Oh my god. Never jinx yourself. Double mana confluence. That hurts. I actually can't Grizzly Salvage.
Leyline is fine because we can use the other Jace to win the game. The problem is we need to draw land or... Or that. We could also just pass here, just play Grizzly Salvage. Yep, I think that's what I'll, I'm gonna do here. Solemnity, sure. We could technically win here. I think they, there's a really good chance of winning. Cat this. Well, that's not good. I can't cast my cat this. I think I'm going to take the Takanuma. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Here you go, opponent. Please tap out. Oh no, are you kidding me? Why are you playing Ashiok? Oh no. Okay. We have a chance. Wait, we actually have a chance. We have a good chance of winning. Mox Ember. Oh, I should have just used my Kethas. What am I doing? Nine lives. Another Grizzly Salvage. Springleaf Drum. Okay, so we have 11 cars left in the deck, huh? Are we not in a pickle? Another Ashiok. Thank you for milling me. 7 cars remaining. So this one mills 2 cars and draw a card. And this one mills three co mills four cars. Mills two and draw a card and mills four and we have six cars remaining. So we won the game, right? Uh, I'm gonna just double check here. 
Mill four, that would put me at two cards. And then we're going to mill two. We're actually going through a lot of cards, actually. Because it's... Because of the Rona, it's putting... Drawing two as well. Man... That was a game. That was a game. <laughs> oh my god. What a clutch. Do not ever let anybody tell you Jace Wielder of Mystery sucks. Does not belong in this deck. Because especially in best of one, you don't get the extra like timer. Like sometimes you rope, right? It's it really it's it's really a quality of life thing. Because you you can make the games faster. Because as long as you deck yourself, you can you can win the game without having to milling your opponents. I think this one's decent. Although we don't have a Kethis or like um, Jace, we got Takenuma, right? This is why these legendary lanes are so good. So freaking good. Plane. It's a life gain deck. So as long as we can... It's chromatic star first. I think we can go drum first. So as long as we can get to a uh, combo fast enough, like... Turn 4 at the latest, I sh we should be able to win this game pretty easily. Okay, that's not a good one. Okay, we got double Takenuma. We need another legendary card to make this card cost two. I think I'm gonna draw here. Kethis. And a Jace! Kethis and a Jace. Ooh la la. The problem is if they have a combo, I lose the game. Can I do all of them at once? Play the Kethis, play the Jace for two. We need some miracles, though. I'll take note of all your failures. Nothing could be more vulnerable. We did not see a miracle. We didn't mill any moxes. Okay, Prosperous and Innkeeper, that's fine. You can have that card, sure. Yes, you, you may hit me for 4 damage. Now, uh, take my time winning the game here.
What is happening? Please tap it. Okay, I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay. Wait. Why didn't it use my black source? Uh... <laughs> what? Uh, game? You gave me no Mox Embers? That's just not fair. Hello? There's just no way you don't give me a Mox Ember, right? Oh my god. Okay, we got Mox Embers, we won. All the Mox Embers, all in the bottom of the deck. Um... I would like to... Actually, does it really matter? Don't think it really matters at this point. Where's my chase? Mox. Mox. And then that should be it. Uh, where's my Jace? There you go. Okay, turns out Kethis deck is still the Kethis deck that I remember. Except a lot better with Ronus.